Well, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for quite a long time. It's a video about how to pack for a long distance bicycle trip. Uh, this summer, I went on an awesome trip from the coast of Oregon all the way across the U.S. to New York City over there. I loved the cross-country cycling so much, I decided to continue on my own, and I cycled from New York all the way down to uh, New Orleans. Um, amazing trip. So when I got back, I made this video of all of the stuff I had on my bike. So as every cross-country cycle tour knows, uh, you start with way more stuff than you need, and by the end of your trip you have a much lighter bike. So yeah, this is just sort of a, a video about what you need to bring, what you definitely have to have, and what things are maybe extra that you can do without and save yourself the weight. So this division, sort of imaginary line right here, divides the items I definitely, definitely, definitely used on the trip over here, the ones I definitely needed, and then the items that I used uh, seldom. I rarely used these items. So let me just explain what this division is. So first of all, you've got to have some sort of bags to carry your stuff in. Panniers, saddlebags. I had a backpack, which I liked because I could use that when I wasn't riding. I just put all my clothes in the backpack. Got to have a helmet, a lock, cycling shoes, I recommend the I had the uh, clipless. Um, yeah, I found that two water bottles was actually sufficient because I always went to a, a gas station or fast food to refill. Daily shoes, extra tubes, definitely, definitely good to have spare tubes. I used the thorn resistant ones over there, and then you come to clothes. I found that you really only need two outfits: non-riding gear, one pair of underwear would have been fine, one pair of socks would have been fine, and then for riding gear. You only really need, um, I would say, two riding shorts and then two pairs of socks. I also found that cold weather gear was essential, so I have a pair of long pants and a long sleeve shirt to wear, some sort of light t-shirt for sleeping. Some basics like sunglasses, riding gloves, a pump, oil for the chain, I use dry oil, multi-tools, just one that has the right screwdriver, rear light, essential, and I think the ones that are not battery operated but rather charging, charge based with the USB charger, much better because the water doesn't damage the battery. Headlamp, a tire irons for fixing those flats, pocket knife, very essential. Chapstick, this was only useful in the west where it was dry. Then I have all these bags for keeping things dry, super essential. I kept clothes in bags, kept my electronics in bags. Keep everything that you want dry in a bag. Obviously, a standard phone charger is necessary, but also I uh, recommend a battery pack. Definitely use the battery pack almost every day for that additional charge. Toiletries, different for everyone, but you know, toothbrush. Rain jacket, definitely waterproof rain jacket. Bungees, the essentials for bike repair. So I have a patch kit. I had a lot of um, zip ties. So these are spare bolts for the bikes different sizes. Definitely need these. One thing most people don't think about, but the bolts you have will snap, they'll break off, and you need to have some spare. So if you're using a rack, definitely some nice, long, and sturdy bolts. So an extra tire. I would recommend having it, but to be honest, I never used it because I had good tires to start with. However, I would always carry an extra tire no matter what. Again, the mat and the sleeping bag, uh, definitely when you camp, but not so much if you're only doing warm showers. So I didn't use them that often, but they did come in handy, and it was nice to have them in the back. There you have it. Things to bring, things not to bring. Um, it obviously depends on your trip, how long you'll be out. But in general, you can definitely aim to go on less clothing, um, less pairs of clothes, and it'll work out.